London's Best Sandwiches Part 1. Now, as you guys hopefully might have seen, we had a shocking sandwich last week uh, in town. Really poor. Go and have a look at our Instagram and TikTok if you want to catch up with the video. We didn't even put it on YouTube. Can you even call it a sandwich? Just, let's just leave it there. Terrible. Uh, the, the chef, I feel like, who had a brain of a rotisserie chicken to think that was okay. <laughs> wow. It's just not okay. But off the back of that, the positives, we've been sent tons of brilliant sandwich shops doing things great, and ones that I've never heard of either. Like sandwich shop number one, Johnny Schnitzel. Haven't been here yet, looks amazing. We've got three to do today. One, two others, all slightly different. I think you guys are gonna love it. London, it's time we celebrate sandwiches. Sandwiches, the food that makes a city tick. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's time. Walk with me. Literally walked in the door and said, wow, look at this. Fantastic. We've got cannolis, we've got pastries, we've got some pork pies, a big tub of schnitzel, some wicked breads, pre-made sandwiches. They look good to me, though. They look really good. Look at the filling. Stacked. There's no... World War II ration portions around it. <laughs> Look at this as well. That's what you want from a sandwich. Nice bit of filling. Two Come slices on. of bread. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. It looks really good. Look at that. Look, salt beef and gherkins. Oh, that looks $4.25. That looks good. Wow, bro. Fresh tomatoes in the fridge. Oh, Black looks... bomber cheese. Salad. Salad and pastas. Right, guys. What are you filming? Doing a food review. I'm We've both got the best sandwiches. We have indeed. Oh, look, I'm excited. Yeah, no, Looking no. at your fridge, it looks pretty good as well. The fridge? Yeah, it's got some amazing sandwiches in there. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, really we good. make it every day, so these are all the salads we make. Wow, well, amazing. And then we do the schnitzels. Yeah. That's what we come for, yeah. Yeah, they're great. What would you yeah. recommend? Well, what's, your, what's, your, what's your best one? Um, well, they're all terrific, depending yeah. on your <laughs> flavour. So the, the one with our homemade. Mooly coleslaw is a Japanese radish that we break in. Nice. That's sort of like a signature one. Then that's a lot bigger with the bacon, cheese, tomato, that's my own. They're all bacon, in a, cheese, tomato, well, and that, we've got schnitzel in there as well. Yeah, and chicken. So they've all got chicken schnitzel in, plus those ingredients. Oh, wow. And they're all on a toasted focaccia with oh. melted cheese. So, and this one in the middle? What's this one? Yeah, cool, mate. Parma ham, truffle mayonnaise, rocket, with the schnitzel. So, Sounds magnificent. They've all sort of slightly different right. flavours. I've right. just got a sandwich under the yeah, grill. No worries, no worries. Oh, wait, I'll turn. That's great. Awesome. What do you think, Callum? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Quite like Which one you... Bacon, cheese and tomato. Yeah, I was going to say, classic. you got to get bacon. Nah, yeah. that classic sandwich with a schnitzel inside, the famous schnitzel here. Could be a winner. My mouth's salivating. This is what it's about. This is what Food Review Club's all about. Not, uh, you know, getting terrible food. I didn't like that. It's not what we're about. We really try our very best. Of course, we'll be critical, but we really want to try our best to find great places and great people. That's, that's what gets us going. First impressions, great. Like, this is exactly, if you close your eyes and think of a banging little sort of sandwich shop, got good coffees by the look of it, cakes, bread. crisps, bread, oh. sandwiches just to take. You, you've got fresh rolls if you want them, some nice wine. Am I like the only one that gets excited by bread rolls? Like, I see a good bread roll, I'm like, oh. It don't, doesn't get a lot better. Well, I'm tempted to buy it. 70p, you buy a bread roll. Yeah, but you can just put anything in it with a serve of soup. I'll just, just eat the roll. Yeah, you literally <laughs> just <laughs> bareback. Yeah. Callum's going in raw. Um, but first impressions, that's great. And th these guys, I know they're obviously part of the business, not, but with two people in the queue, I said, we're coming to find London's best sandwich. And they both turned around and like, you found it. And this is the best. I think for schnitzel lovers, you guys will know, I think it's a great addition to a sandwich. That bit of schnitzel, you get a bit of crispy, crunchy outer coating, goes with sauces, and from the schnitzel you can build a cracking product. If you're still watching this now and you haven't subscribed, give us a thumbs up, like the video, get in the comments, just be a part of this, please. We're in London, very fancy, mm -hmm. very expensive, but hopefully this review is gonna identify you can get good, honest, hardworking scran without breaking the bank. Well, we've just done our short that goes on to uh, Instagram and TikTok. Little discussion with you guys now. What a sandwich! Star of the show is the bread. I want to do this. It's like perfectly toasted. It's got loads of flavour in there. We've got the olives, but the schnitzel comes out hot. Got melted cheese bacon on there with this really crisp, fresh salad underneath. 
he good. It just comes together like an absolute symphony. I feel like we've got a bit of redemption, Callum. For sure. We've got an actual sandwich as well. For the first... First sandwich of three, that is... a great start. Um... And I think we've seen something different there as well. That circular, individual, olive focaccia, that's something I've not seen before. Very unique to this shop, Johnny Schnitzel. Uh, wow, nice dogs. Thank you. <laughs> is that, like, is that little bit, and large? No, they're so same age, they're a bit tired now. They're getting old. Oh. It's a long walk. What are their names? Noodles and Harry. <laughs> Noodles and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Dogs of London, coming soon. Um, yeah, it was just great. The schnitzel was moist, warm, had that crisp crunch to it. Just a great sandwich. Redemption, I'm so happy. Um, Score-wise, this got a 9.6, nearly faultless. Probably being picky at 9.6 to be fair. Fantastic, even the price point, eight pounds, 95. Yep. This is their big one, it's called the stack. This is the stack, the big one. Um, so, so yeah, Johnny Schnitzel, worth a visit, absolutely. We've also got ourselves a posh coffee. No, you've ever done a coffee review on the page, but if we haven't, big up. How's it going, mate? Fantastic. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. Right, sandwich shop number one done. If you think you know any other great sandwich shops around the UK or specifically London, Get in the comments right now. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. We're nearly 100K. Let's go, people. Um, let's get this boxed up and get on to secret sandwich shop number two. Here we go, then, people. Sandwich shop number two. And we've heard rave reviews about this place. Bal Fiorentino. They're even extending the awning for us. Look at that. Whoa. It's like magic. Like <laughs> the sandwich gods are shining down upon us. Now, look. I don't think sandwiches get a lot better than the Italian way. It's magnificent. It's clean, it's crisp, it's simple. Yeah, it's not. It's my favorite. They're the best. Chibo, I'll see you. I'll see you, bruv. Now, this is probably gonna be along those lines, Callum. From what I've seen, should we just go in? Yeah, can we just say, look, come try the best sandwich you've ever had. And also, price point. Five pounds. They do two sizes, small and large. Small ones here, which is still a decent sandwich with, with good filling, but I look at it, size-wise, it's a fiver. Mm. Italian, decent sandwich with a fiver. We haven't seen the fillings yet, though. It's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm to go down this route. No, 11 pound sandwiches right here. Nice, 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 mate. Oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna cut that off as wastage. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Amazing. Super soft. Super soft. Do you make all your own bread here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We make everything, your sauces, everything. Wow. Got a really big kitchen at the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wild. Thank you, sir. So this bread is actually called schiacciata, not for capture. Thank you, guys. You nice to meet you. Enjoy. That's what you call a sandwich, bro. Eight quid. Pistachio ham, mozzarella, beef tomatoes, salt, pepper, the best ingredients. Just love it. Something very different as well, right? Oh, for sure. Wow, come on, here we go. Right. Reporting life. It's absolutely magnificent. The bread is very different to the catcher. It's super soft in the middle, a very, very hard crust on the outside. 
it's delicious. Gives you that mad texture. But just inside, look. It's fluffy as a pillow. Great. He's talking about putting a Nutella, Nutella on there or that pistachio cream. I can only imagine what that will taste like. Uh, for fresh, the fresh mozzarella with the beef tomatoes, the ham, good portion of ham, no World War II ration spec <laughs> portions in here. And we've got two slices of bread, everyone's a winner. And they do not have any political slogans hung in the shop either. They do have a football flag, a football uh, That's scarf. okay. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Spe particularly when it's from Florence and they're repping their hometown. Yes. No bother, Chavi. No bother at all. Um, my favourite ever sandwich? I don't think so. I think I like a bit of pesto in there as well. Maybe I should have ordered that next time, but one thing is for sure. It's big, good value, fresh. My man, you said it first. You cannot go wrong for this price point. That's huge. It's a slab of sandwich. Bigger than your head. Eight quid. Yeah, and this ham is just like, look, it's just like real. It's just fantastic. All right, Callum, time for a score. Where are you going? I'm going to say, uh, like an eight one. Okay. Really Especially. solid. Solid London sandwich. The best, maybe not, but certainly in the conversation to the right person. And they have got another 15 sandwiches on the menu. You're going to have to come back and cross them off. On to the next. Right, you join us at venue number three. I hope you've enjoyed this video, by the way. If you have, like and subscribe, please. Let's grow this community. Now, we're venue number three. We're at venue number three, sorry. Crunch, here at Spitalfields. And they had a particularly interesting side on the menu. Thousand layer potato. Looks great. I've seen a lot of this stuff online. People like Poppy Cooks, etc. that finely sliced um, potato, giving you mad, like, mad layers and crisp and texture. Looking forward to trying that, £4.50. Cheers. At least, uh, yeah, never mind. Thank you. Th and this is the main event. This is the crunch sandwich, kind of going a bit viral, to be honest. And you can see, kind of, we've got a lovely toast on the outside. We've got sesame seeds on the top of that. Looks like a little sweet brioche and inside. Some chicken, some sort of pepper mayo, maybe. Some gherkins in there. A little chicken sandwich, let's go. £9.50 for the sandwich. £9.50. Well, I've got to try this first. This is, this is intriguing me beyond belief. <laughs> Came for the sandwiches. What's it called? This is crunch sauce. Come on. Every now and again, those mate, something will jump out at you. That's true. Look at that. Salt in there. Should be delicious. Well, let's try as it is, no sauce. Mmm. Wow. Magnificent. It's got a really nice pepper warmth to it as well. And of course, each layer brings its own little party to town. And good news is they've got a thousand layers, so that's quite an appealing, enjoyable experience. You can tell by that smile. Go on, go on. Share it with the audience time. Yeah. Shove it in. Here we go. Something different, right? It's like a chip amplified. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very cool. Four pound fifty though. Interesting side. Well, there's a lot of layers. A lot of effort goes into it. So, from what I've seen as well, a huge amount of labour. Yeah. Like it takes a couple of days to make these. You have to cook them, press them, fridge them. I think they get fried a couple of times. Anyway, there we go. That was good. Showing a bit of skill, crunch. I like it. Here we go. This is what we've come here for, though. A lot of people are tipping this off to be one of the best sandwiches in London, Callum. Yep. Good and bread. However, we are at Spitalfields. Bit of a tourist trap. And unlike the other markets, there is actually some really good players here at Spitalfields. At Camden, for example, all of the places technically sell similar stuff. It's very trashy, low-level food. On the whole, there are some good ones there, granted. Here, you have got people like Balika and some other people that genuinely have a good reputation. So just the fact these are here, I'm not gonna cast them into that box. All right, bro? Yep. I've got to admit, that looks pretty nice. I've got great color on that, on that bread. Yeah. It really excites me. 
And that chicken looks so juicy as well, doesn't it? Oh my God. Chopped lettuce too. Here we go, everyone. That tastes. Exactly how it looks. Well, it looks pretty good, so. so it, just, it, just, it just tastes exactly like that. <laughs> Whatever that means. I, I don't know what to... Well done, Matt. Cheers, bud. All the adjectives. Um, the chicken's very good. Super moist. It's a nice size. Part of me thought pre arrival that this might be a bit small here. Haven't seen the pictures. It looks a bit. Quite a petite sandwich, but holding this now, it, it really isn't really isn't small at all. Would you say, Adam? It's quite chunky. No, it's big. It's a good, it's a good size, in it, fact. I think the bread throws you off because it looks like it's a small bit of toast or something, but it's not. Exactly. That's one of those mini, like yeah. a mini loaf, right? Um, it's really not. It's great size. A, a bread is fantastic. Got a bit of a chew to it, Rob. Really like it. So there we have it. Um, London's best sandwich. Three places we've been today, all doing their thing very, very differently. I mean, I've got to give this one a score now. Mm. Score out of 10. Mm. I mean, at Spitalfields, central London, £9.50 for a chicken sandwich of that quality. I think it's very good. Okay. I think it's very, very good. Time for a score. Got a nice warmth coming through my mouth now. That sort of secondary, secondary gear change. Okay. I'm gonna go eight four. Okay. Solid. A world beater? No. A fantastic spot for lunch? Absolutely. It's got there's some quality. There's some class here. Uh, this is a very very good option for your lunch. Crunch, congratulations. There you have it, people. The YouTube video is over for today. If you've got any recommendations for us moving forward for sandwich spots, I really love the idea of this rise in amazing sandwiches. I love the concept. A lot of these bakers from pizza places are turning their hand now, making amazing breads and doughs into sandwiches, subs, sandos. Uh, I think the sandwich game is gonna be the breakout star of the next two years. Mark my words on that. But um, there is a rule. They have slices of bread. But uh, have you not heard, Callum, there's something called an open sandwich? I'm not a posh I don't want a fucking half a sandwich. If it ain't got two slices of bread, we are not interested. Thanks for watching, everyone. And that, that's a day out in London with your two favourite foodies. See us big daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavours, trying different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?